Hey, hello everybody, my name is Blind Senpai, and welcome back to Star Citizen. In front of me is the Origin Jumpworks 350R. This is the same manufacturer that makes the M50 Interceptor. I reviewed a few videos ago. Uh, this is a racing ship, just like it. Only you can see it's obviously quite a bit bigger. Um, see its engines right there, some giant engines. Giant spoiler. Really sporty looking ship. Uh, just give you a quick rundown of the weapon. Up front we have a gimbaled weapon. This is a 007 Bulldog Repeater. Just kind of hidden under the nose there. Just kind of cool. I believe it slides forward. So go ahead, kind of low it looks like it does. Anyway. Um, and then on the wings we have Omnisky 6 laser cannons. And also... Uh, it doesn't come with any on there, but there's hard points under the spoilers for uh, size 3 missiles. So that's all the weaponry that this thing has. Like I said, it's more of a racing ship. So definitely not geared towards fighting, but I'm sure it can handle that just as well. Because the M50 actually did a pretty good job, and this is, uh, seems like it's going to be a little bit stronger. So... To enter in the ship, you simply walk up to the side here, or not so simply. There we go. Ladder slides out. Nice big door there to climb into. And then you can actually walk in on either side, so I'll show you really quick. There's another hatch over here that you can open up from the inside. Easier said than done, I think. There we go. It's the same situation over there. It's another ladder. And that door opens up there. Very, very nice looking inside. Super clean. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything to use in here. Other than, of course, the captain's chair. But it's very, very high-tech looking. Um... Probably the most high-tech ship I've seen so far, at least interior-wise. You can see as we move up to Captain's Chair. It's a really nice, really nice-looking chair. Let me flip this around here. And, I mean, you can, like, see the floor and everything. Just really clean-looking. This thing just screams high-tech. Hit, hit the dials there. And, all right... All kinds of goodies. Cockpit's really nice looking. Alright, but I'm going to take this in the Vandal Swarm, and we'll see how she can fight. Alright, and here we are in Vandal Swarm. So we'll see what this uh, ship can do. So just... Quick, going straight, looks like I'm going 375 meters per second without the afterburners, with the afterburners, to a 540. So that thing is insanely quick. Okay, looks like I'll have to lock these weapons in. There we go. Wow, these weapons got some fire to them. Definitely don't have to worry about anyone running away from me with this thing. Um, this is pretty crazy. The damage is actually really good. Seems like the Omnis guys uh, use up a lot of power though. Like, seems like they're going to overheat really quick. But I could be wrong in assuming that. I guess we'll see here. It's a very maneuverable ship, which for a racing ship is to be expected. Wow, it's got some nice boost to it. Holy crap, I almost passed out there. Stone shield under attack. Four shield under attack. Alright. So you can see you only got shields on the front and back. Wow. I'm just like blowing past these guys. 
very, very fast ship. Definitely reminds me a lot like the M50, but it's... I believe it is faster than the M50, if I remember correctly. And it has some more firepower to it, which is nice. Yeah, and you can see right there, those Omni guys are overheating a little bit. So that's unfortunate. Especially because the Bulldog Repeater doesn't necessarily do that much damage. So, um, it'd be interesting if you could put a stronger gun up front. Uh, you can definitely change out the Omni guys for something else, too. Um, I'm not really sure what would be better there. But, so it seems like the Lodo could definitely be optimized a little bit better. But as is, it's pretty good. So you just gotta worry about that overheating issue. And there's a lot of drifting to this ship. I have Comstab on right now. But I'm still drifting quite a bit. This guy's running away from me. Okay, now I have all three guns overheating, so that's not good. So, that's definitely a con, I would say. Just the overheating issue. But that's more something to do with the, uh, the weapons themselves rather than the ship, I think. Could be wrong, I suppose. But... There could be some better suited weapons for this. But again, this is a racing ship, so... It's not really necessarily for fighting a bunch of Vandal. Alright, and it definitely moves well. I'd, I think I might actually record a video uh, with this on the track. Get some missile shot at me now. I wonder if I could just flat out run them away from the missiles. Jeez, getting a lot of missile shot at me. Of course, the other way to conserve that heating issue is just not have constant fire. You just do it in short bursts, or whenever you at least know you're on target. Those are all ways that help. I am definitely suffering from that issue because you can see those weapons are just about overheated again. And that's too bad. Yep, there they go again. Plus, we're having some missiles on here could help too, which this can hold. Like I pointed out, it can hold some missiles, so it's definitely some improvements you could do for fighting. Should you want that? But this. This ship is just crazy fast. I'm sure it is a great racer. How maneuverable and how quick it is. It's definitely not a bad fighter though. Especially if, uh, you know, you're gonna use this as, you know, chasing someone down or... Single... You know, single one-on-one uh, -on -one fights um, where you're trying to chase somebody down, this this thing would be perfect. But it's got a lot of speed to it. Most likely, if they're carrying cargo, they're not going to have a ship anywhere near the speed of this thing. So... And it definitely has some, a little bit of firepower to it, so... Could definitely see this being a good interceptor. The 
biggest thing is just coming up with a way to uh, stop that overheating issue. And this ship really can do a lot, I have a feeling. As soon as that issue gets solved. Oh! It seems like it actually has pretty good armor too, because I kind of just slammed into the side of him. And uh, after I blew him up, and it didn't really seem to take any damage. At least nothing visible on my scanner. Alright. I think I'll finish this wave off and then uh, end this video because really I don't have anything else to say. It's pretty basic. It's just really super fast. A lot like the M50. Faster than the M50 even. Um, has some great firepower to it. Just that overheating issue seems to be the only con that I can really think of. The maneuverability is great. Seems like it holds up pretty well. I mean, yeah, you can see I just ran into someone back there a little bit and took a little bit of damage in my spoiler, it looks like, but other than that, she is, uh, she is doing well still. I mean, not having shield on your sides can be an issue sometimes. But with how quick this thing is, I don't think someone's going to be on your side very long. You're either going to be jousting them, or they're going to be behind you. Um, and even then, they're not going to be there for very long, because you're going to blow past them. Alright, I think I got one more target here. Use my afterburner to catch up to him. So there's definitely some separation between these weapons. Again, this, these are definitely not optimized weapons for this ship. I'm sure there's something better you could throw on here um, and get rid of that separation in the pip. But all right, so that's the end of wave five. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the ship. Uh, if you did, leave a like and let me know what you thought down below. Um, Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you catch all my uploads. I upload videos like this every single day. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.